Hey guys, it's Sam here from How to Have a Q, and today I want to ask you an interview question that a lot of software companies and a lot of places who hire software engineers ask. Now this question is based around, um, it's called Fizz Buzz, and as you would have seen in the title. And the question is based around when you print out the number, printing out the numbers 1 to 100, replacing numbers which are multiples of 3 with the word Fizz, and uh, numbers which are multiples of 5 with the word Buzz, and numbers which are multiples of both, with the word fizz buzz. Now the whole idea is to test your programming standards, etc., and seeing how you think as a developer. So feel free to pause the video now, have a go at it, and um, uh, when you come back and unpause it, uh, we'll be going through the solution. So, so now you've had a chance to have a go, let me show you a solution that a lot of people come up with, and I think is probably not the best solution. So the most common approach is to do a for loop, which is generally right, for loop, range um, 1 uh, to 101 and then from there you just have an if statement at the start and you basically just say if it's divisible by 3 and it's divisible by 5 is what that means print out fizz buzz then you have an elif statement and you say so if this that means because it's an elif statement it means that this is only true exclusively uh, so that means that the 5 is an equal to you know it works it out uh, and then we print out fizz for this one and then we do another one obviously we need to have parentheses around our prints and you know pretty simple and then you do it for the 5 and then we're going to print out buzz for the 5. A lot of people come up with this solution and I would say it's probably not the best solution and there's a much better solution but let me show you this first. So you run it, it does the job right? It prints out fizz buzz when it's a multiple of both and fizz when it's a multiple of only one of them. Uh, you know, So you know it's got basic function, this checks if it's a uh, multiple of 3 and 5, if it's a multiple of 3 and not a multiple of 5, and if it's a multiple of 5 and not a multiple of 3. Okay, let's run that function. Save it, and let's see. And you can see 1, 2, fizz, 4, bars, fizz, 7, 8, fizz, bars, and it you know, goes through and it does fizz, bars, or 15, etc. when it's a multiple of both. So that works, and that's, you know, it's an okay solution, but it's not the best solution. So, let me just, you know, get rid of this now. And let me show you what I would say is a better solution. So my solution would be just write a function, and we're going to call this function get fizz buzz, just for the sake of it. And we're just going to have a dictionary as one of the parameters. And we're going to call it multiples. And we're going to have a uh, star args. And that basically means that you can have multiple parameters defined. So after this point here, you can define multiple as many parameters as you like. So I could have like loads more. So it doesn't have to just be one. I can have more. And then here we just have a basic for loop for i in range. And this arg, this args right, is basically the parameters for the range function. So it gives us more variability there, what we can change. And I define well, a string at the top here, empty string. And I've seen a few solutions use this. Uh, sort of empty string method but this method is slightly more superior so you do you go through the multiples so this multiples is a dictionary and I'll, I'll show you an example above uh, before we actually get started um, so the multiples could be equal to something like this for example you'd have 3 assigned to fizz oops not fuzz fizz and you have 5 assigned to buzz So you see that? So 3 is assigned to uh, fizz and 5 is assigned to buzz and we're iterating through this. So by stand, uh, we're going to iterate through the multiples and that by standard iterates through the key. So it goes 3, 5. So we can have the if statement if i is divisible by the multiple that we're currently going through then add it to the output. So add, add whatever this is which is the key of the dictionary to the output make sure we put output uh, so to get the key you can just do multiples 
square bracket multiple like that pretty simple and that sorts that problem out and once it's finished iterating you want to check to see if it didn't find any so you want to say if the output is equal to an empty string then simply set the output here uh, to be i which is just the number we're outputting and then just print at the end the output so now you can see this solution works pretty well because not only can I uh, change all these values I can change 3 to a 4 uh, 5 to a 7 and I can change what it is fizz or buzz I can change it all it means that when the interviewer asks me to change something I can just change one single character in the other solutions I showed you I'd have to change about four individual lines to be able to get it working for something else this is much faster and that's what they're gonna look for in interviews so we'll do a get fizz buzz so the multiples we'll just define a dictionary up here called uh, yeah we'll just define a dictionary up here called multiples and it's essentially the same as this up here so I just copy it down so when it's three we want it to uh, output fizz and buzz and concatenate them when it's both etc so it works quite well and we'll enter in multiples here and now I can show you how the args thing works so the args goes directly in here so this can be any number of these parameters so I can literally put one two one like that I can put as many as I like or I could just put ten but it means that we can change how the range function works and it gives us more variability which is what they want to see in interviews right very clever so I'm just going to set up for the standard that's standard that would also work and let's just run that and you'll see how it works just as well so it works just as well but as soon as I want to change say this to a 7 bam done I didn't that was under a second you know very quick I could change that to a, I could change that to a 5 and then add another one for 17 and 17 then is assigned to say ha ha and then bam that works very very quick and then it follows all the same rules because we set them up here that's what the interviewers are going to want to see this is the ideal programming solution for this option so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something and I hope you're going to be more prepared for any sort of interviews you have about this sort of question leave any comments down below about any uh, queries you have about this uh, be sure to leave your your source code to this as well so if you've done this in Python or another language leave it below and we can all debate about which solution is best am I wrong is there a better solution than this I personally think this is a pretty good solution I'm sure there's some better solution out there as well anyway guys make sure you get subscribed and like this video and I'll see you in the next video guys so goodbye